Hello, and welcome to the Small Business Tax Savings Podcast, powered by Jetro and Associates. Get ready for another action-packed episode from our team that will help you save time, taxes, and keep more money in your pocket. Hello, small business owners, and welcome to another episode of the Small Business Tax Savings Podcast. My name is Mike Jezoshek. I'm a CPA and founder over at Jetro, which is a digital accounting firm servicing small business owners exclusively, helping them with accounting, bookkeeping, taxes, and payroll. Now, before I get started on this week's episode, I want to first remind you to check out our website for our podcast. It's www.taxsavingspodcast.com. Dot com. And this is really just a great resource to go and check out our most recent episodes as well as find out you know, more information about the extra items we have, which might be a link to our Facebook group, information on our free training program, or even a 15-minute free consultation if you're interested in that. So be sure to check out our website. It's www.taxsavingspodcast.com. And I also ask that if you're a, a valid, a continuous listener of us and you enjoy what you hear in the show, I just ask you to please leave us a review on wherever you may be listening to us on. All right, so let me get started on today's topic. And today we're going to be talking about IRAs. So most of you have likely heard of an IRA in your, in your lifetime, but I want to talk about um, two IRAs specifically. And before I get started, an IRA stands for an Individual Retirement Account. IRA is short for that. So in this episode, we're going to be talking specifically about traditional IRAs and Roth IRAs. Now note, there's other IRAs like a simple IRA or a SEP IRA, but we're going to be talking about those types of IRAs when we stop, talk more about specifically business uh, retirement planning options. So we're going to be talking about simple IRAs, SEP IRAs, solo 401ks, regular 401ks. We're going to kind of bunch those into one episode and talk about just on this episode, traditional and Roth. And so I'm going to be going through a few questions that compare the two. They're very similar in the way uh, that they operate inside the actual fund, but the way you contribute, the way you take money out, where you're taxed can be very different. So I'm going to go through some questions and then tell you what it's like with a traditional and what it's like with a Roth. And this will hopefully give you some good ideas on you know what might make sense for you and what you might qualify for. So the first question I want to talk about is who can contribute to each of these plans? Now they are different for a traditional and a Roth. For a traditional IRA, you and your spouse can contribute if you have taxable compensation. So you just need to have taxable compensation and you have to be under the age of 70 and a half. After the age of 70 and a half or older, you're no longer able to contribute to a traditional IRA plan. Now with a Roth IRA, you and your spouse can contribute at any age as long as that you have taxable compensation and your modified adjusted gross income is below 193,000 for a married couple or 122,000 for a single individual. If you have income above those levels, any amount that you contributed over and above may be limited or not allowed. So if you're hitting kind of those thresholds, you have to look into the Roth IRA more specifically. Now, many people ask, okay, so if I'm contributing to this IRA, is it tax deductible? Is that contribution I make tax deductible? And there's a couple caveats to that. First, with the traditional IRA, IRA, yes, your contributions are deductible if you qualify. And to qualify really depends on if you or your spouse have a retirement plan at work. If neither of you have a retirement plan at work, you are allowed to take a full deduction for the amount that you contribute to a traditional IRA. If you or your spouse are covered by a retirement plan at work, you will only get a deduction if your modified adjusted gross income is below 103,000 for married or 64,000 for single. Now with a Roth IRA, none of your contributions are deductible. And we'll kind of dig into this a little bit deeper with the next question on why those are not deductible. So traditional, yes, they can be deductible. Assuming you qualify with a Roth, your contributions are not tax deductible when you make that contribution. Now, how much can you contribute to a traditional or a Roth? And the total that you can contribute to all of your IRAs, a Roth or traditional IRAs, is the smaller of your taxable compensation for the year or $6,000. Now, if you're over the age of 50, your cap is then $7,000. So the amount that you can contribute to both a Roth or a traditional combined 
is the smaller of your taxable compensation for the year or $6,000. And again, if you're over the age of 50, that 6,000 turns to 7,000. Now, what is the deadline to make these contributions? So when do you have to cont contribute for the prior year? For both your, uh, for both traditional and Roth IRA, the deadline to make the contribution is, is your tax return filing deadline, not including extensions. So that's generally April 15th is the, the date where you have to make your contributions by for the prior year. But you can make them all the way throughout the year as well. Now, maybe you'll say, okay, now I'm putting this money into this IRA account. When can I withdraw it? With either account, you can withdraw money anytime. Now, that comes with a big but. If you are under the age of 59 and a half, you will have to also pay an early withdrawal tax of 10% unless you qualify for some exemption or exception. So most of the times you're withdrawing money after 59 and a half, otherwise you're paying that penalty. Um, now with, with some re retirement plans, you're required to take minimum distributions once you hit a certain age. So with a traditional IRA, you must start taking distributions following the year in which you turn 70 and a half and by December 31st for the later years. So traditional IRA, you do have, you are required to take a minimum distribution at, once you hit a certain age. With the Roth IRA, you are not required to take minimum distributions if you are the original owner of the Roth IRA. So traditional, one, required minimum distributions once you hit a certain age. With a Roth, you are not. Now, here's the big question. Are your withdrawals taxable? So when you take money out of the IRA in retirement, are those taxable? Now, with a traditional IRA, any deductible contributions and earnings you withdraw or that are distributed from your IRA are taxable. So traditional IRA, you pay tax on anything that you receive out of it. Roth IRA, no taxes are due upon withdrawing as long as it's a qualified distribution. So Roth IRA, when you withdraw that money, you are not getting taxed on it. And remember, when we talked back in the beginning... With the Roth IRA, you do not get the upfront tax deduction. So when you put money into the Roth IRA, you do not get a tax deduction. But the beautiful thing about it is that it grows tax-free. So any earnings that you get and when you withdraw it, when, when you withdraw the money from the Roth IRA, you are not taxed on it. The traditional is the opposite way. You get that tax deduction when you make the contribution, but any earnings that you have in there when you withdraw, you pay taxes on that piece. So those are kind of the real key difference and in indicators with them. And I just want to kind of run through those again, just to kind of quick hit answers for it. So who can contribute? Traditional IRA, you and your spouse, as long as you have taxable compensation and you are under the age of 70 and a half. With a Roth IRA, you or your spouse can contribute at any age, as long as you have taxable compensation and your modified adjusted gross income is below 193,000 for the married, and 102,000 for single. If you're over that 193 or over that 122, you may not be able to contribute or your contribution might be limited with the Roth IRA. So be careful on those on those limits. Are your contributions deductible? Traditional IRA? Yes, with a caveat if you qualify. If neither if neither your spouse or you have a retirement plan at work, you are allowed a full tax deduction on that contribution. Now, if you or your spouse is covered by a retirement plan at work, you might not get that full tax deduction depending on where your modified adjusted gross income is. With a Roth IRA, your contributions are not deductible. You get no upfront tax deduction or tax benefit from, from contributing to a Roth IRA. Now, how much can you contribute? And this is across both traditional and Roths, $6,000. Or if you're over the age of 50, you can contribute up to $7,000 per year. And the deadline to make those contributions is when your tax your tax return filing deadline, which is typically April 15th. And you can withdraw the money at any age. However, if you're, if you're under the age of 59 and a half, you will have to pay an early withdrawal tax of 10% unless you qualify for some exception. So most people wait till retirement age or in retirement before they start taking any withdrawals. Now, with a traditional IRA, you are required to take minimum distributions following the year in which you turn 70 and a half. With a Roth IRA, you, as long as you are the original owner of that Roth IRA, you are not required to take minimum distributions. And here's again the big one. When are withdrawals, ta are withdrawals taxable? With a traditional IRA, any deductible contributions and earnings you withdraw or that are distributed from your IRA are taxable. With the Roth IRA, again, 
No taxes are due upon withdrawal as long as it's a qualified distribution. So that's where the Roth comes in very helpful. You don't get that upfront tax deduction, but all that growth you see year after year grows tax-free. So just some things I wanted to, I wanted to bring that out because a lot of people are confused. What is a traditional? What is a Roth? Do I qualify for one or the other? Um, generally stating, if you have no um, retirement plan through an employer or anything like that, traditional, there's really no uh, exception. There's really no cap. You can contribute and get that tax deduction for a traditional IRA. Now, Roth IRA is obviously a, a better move because it grows tax-free, but you have to have income under those certain amounts or the Roth will phase out and you're no longer allowed to do it. So if you're uh, if you're in the higher income, make sure you look at those limits to see if you're under it before you start contributing to a Roth. If you're over those limits, then look into the traditional IRA. Now, again, as a small business owner, you might also consider a solo 401k or SEP IRA. If you have employees, you might consider a simple IRA or a regular 401k. And we're going to break those down in another episode. In this episode, I want to focus specifically on traditional IRA and Roth IRA and then move over to those and because those are available to any individual and then move into the various retirement options for for small business owners that solo 401k, SEP IRA, simple IRA, 401k, et cetera, in another episode. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into this week's episode. As a reminder, join our Facebook group. You can jump in there, ask questions, and just continue the discussion of what we discuss in our weekly topics. You can simply join by searching in Facebook for Small Business Tax Secrets, and there'll be a group that pops up to join. If you enjoy our weekly episodes, I just ask you, please leave a review on whatever platform you listen to us on and share with other business owners. Leaving that review helps us get noticed for other business owners so we can share this information to business owners alike out there. And again, if there's a topic that you want to hear more about or have us touch on specifically, shoot me an email, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on any kind of social media, LinkedIn, and let me know so that I can go ahead and plan that for a future episode. Again, thank you for tuning into this week's episode, and I will see you next week. This has been another episode of the Small Business Tax Savings Podcast from the team at Jetro and Associates. If you have any questions, feel free to email them, tax at jetrotax.com. We have packages for small business owners starting at just $75 a month. If you enjoyed our podcast, please take the time out to give us a five-star review in iTunes or wherever you listen. This helps us to bring you useful tips to help you grow your small business. Thanks for listening and have a great day.